Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out with the latest edition of Reflections. We're here every Monday, 4.30pm, albeit this one, like last week, is a little late. I apologise for that. But usually 4.30pm to talk about the boxing action of the weekend just gone. And this week I am moved to reflect on the last um, Sky Matchroom collaboration, at least for the present time. They'll still be working together on Sky Sports box office, but this was the last in the recent deal, um, the one that saw Matchroom as the sole Sky Sports boxing promoter. And it was headlined by Lewis Ritz, and unfortunately it wasn't a fond farewell for him. Um, he was stopped late on in a fight where he took rather a lot of punishment against Jeremias Ponce um, of Argentina. Tough, grueling, brutal fight, particularly towards Ritson. Um, he was taking a lot more than he was giving. But it's the finish of that fight more than anything else that's caused controversy. No doubt about who was winning um, when Ritson was finally put out of his misery by referee Steve Gray. Um, but the issue more was that Ritson's father, also his head trainer, threw the towel in to indicate surrender before the fight was actually stopped. And referee Steve Gray picked the towel up, threw it back out of the ring, um, ignored, it's fair to say, the corner's wishes and allowed Ritson to carry on. Felt he had something left, um, which soon proved to be not the case or certainly wasn't the case by the end when it was belatedly waved off. And this has caused much debate on social media among people within the industry. We're here at Matchroom HQ today for the launch of Fight Camp and the launch of Matchroom's new relationship or expanded relationship with The Zone. And I've asked a few people about it during the interviews. And it's very interesting because there's one technical point that I think Dominic Ingle brought up earlier is that, and I've seen this mentioned in other places, that a corner man is supposed to wave the towel and attract the referee's attention from the ring apron, not throw it into the ring. Um, because if they do throw it into the ring, there's obviously various safety concerns um, that it could add to the fight as troubles rather than um, relieve them. But that's one point. But it's not just that Steve Gray chucked the towel back out the ring, which he was right to do. He ignored the intentions of it. He knew what the corner man throwing in the towel meant. Now, the problem we have is that who do you trust? Do you trust the corner man because he knows the fighter best? <coughs> Excuse me, hay fever. He knows the fighter best. Um, and he works with him in the gym every day, so he's arguably best placed to know when his fight is given all he can. Or, given the fact that he's, in this case, also the fighter's father, could he be too protective? Could you be looking at um, a father in Dave Ritson who thinks, you know, I know my son, um, I don't want to see him get hurt, I've got that emotional attachment, and could jump in too early, denying a famous comeback that we've talked about for years. Now, I'm not saying that would have happened. I think, you know, Ritson was gone by the point when the towel was thrown in. But I think that's a concern why the rule is as it is, and that's that only the referee has the power to stop the fight. And I've seen people since saying, well, no, from now on, if a corner man throws a towel in, it should be an automatic end to the fight. I don't agree with that. I don't think that rule should be changed. I think the referee should be encouraged to take that... Um, action from the corner man into his well of information that he then pulls together to make a decision with all the facts in place having looked at the fighter close up closer certainly than the corner man during the rounds looking to his eyes you know how's he responding to shots is it different markedly from how he's responding earlier in the fight things like that and also if referees are, have worked to fight a, um, a fighter's contest for a number of times they get to know the fighter well certainly from a physical perspective you know how they do react to shots how they go down um, when knockdowns occur, things like that. So I think I could criticise Steve Gray. I don't think it's appalling refereeing, as a lot of people have said, but I do think he made a mistake. I think the towel coming in should have made him think again about what stage Ritson was at in the fight, maybe taken a closer look and then ruled him out, rather than just you know automatically responding to what um, he'd seen out the corner of his eye. But I don't think that decision should be taken solely, completely out of the referee's hands and allow the corner men, whether they're related to the fighters or not, to make that final decision. If you want to pull your fighter out, there's ample time to do so in the intervals between rounds, the one minute you get. If you then feel he's well enough to send him back out, to say a minute later, right, well, he's had enough, it's understandable and you might be right, but I think you, you tell yourself when you send your fighter back out for the next session that you've uh, delegated that responsibility to stop the contest to the referee. It's your responsibility during the interval, but it becomes the referees once that bell rings again. And I think that's that's something you understand. And, and full credit to Steve Gray, not for his decision, which I believe was wrong, but for going back into the dressing room afterwards and explaining the reasons behind it to both Ritson and his father. 
he felt, judging by the video I've seen on social media, that Ritson still had enough left, that he was being hurt to the body, but not so much to the head, and that he still had enough left to maybe at least survive the round, if not come back completely and win the fight. I disagree with Steve Gray on that. Obviously, he's the one in the ring. I'm, I was just watching it on TV. Um, but that's what I believe. Um, and Ritson seemed to take it well. I've seen comments from him, not just in the video with Steve Gray, but on social media since, saying he would never want the towel to be thrown in. He'd get, he'd keep getting back up hundreds of times if he got knocked down. But let's bear in mind, they're fighters. They're always going to say that, and they're always going to live up to it. But I think, you know, the decision in that sense, and there's been a lot of talk in the last year about boxers quitting, surrendering, whatever you want to call it, I think there's a good reason why that decision should be taken out of the fighter's hands. And in this case, it was, um, and it should have been with the referee. I just think the referee made a bad call on this occasion. I don't think it calls for a wholesale change of the rules. As for Sky and Matchroom, um, we move on to Pastures New. That's why we're here today. But it did have a kind of strange atmosphere. There weren't many people doing ringside interviews. We got used to seeing Eddie Hearn doing the post-fight analysis. That was obviously absent this time round. Sky commentary team seemed loath to mention any of the fights that are coming up on the zone, even though they would have been in full knowledge of it. And you can understand why. But now we all wait and see what Sky decide to do next. Um, we already know they've, they're working with Boxer, they're working with Top Rank, but we wait to see till the UK schedule gets announced, which hopefully will be in August. I think that's what they've said. But as of right now, Matchroom say goodbye to Sky, unfortunately with a loss for Lewis Ritson, but look forward to an exciting fight camp this summer on the zone. I will be back next week. Uh, Monday, obviously for reflection, same time, and I'll be here this Thursday for Flex Expectations with the preview show again, 4:30 p.m. Thanks very much for your time. Please comment below, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.